<clears throat> Hello. We are going to try to make this right here. Kind of the braided uh, woven box weave, I guess, would be the easiest way to describe it, part. You can either start at the bottom, or this is how I do it, I either start at the bottom, or I start at the top. Now this balloon, or this figure, will use somewhere between 30 to 40 balloons. Um, I didn't count, but hopefully I have enough in here. If not, um, well, I'll have to run down and get more. Okay, and I also put a uh, 350 in here. That's a, a 350, I blow it up from the end. Um, we'll do our best. This will take a long time, okay? I'm expecting that this will take me at least 30 minutes. So if you don't want a 30 minute, just keep skipping forward and, or until you know you can shorten your own time. Anyway, I'm gonna blow everything up. Now we're going to start with four balloons. There are two. Now I've just picked this one I used rose, this other one here I'm using wild berry. Uh, obviously any color you like, that's what you use. And I'm trying to blow all of them up approximately that much. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going about that much. Now, uh, one of the quicker ways to do it is to not put the pinch twist in each spot. But I like the looks of the pinch twist. So if you don't want a pinch twist, it'll make it quicker. Uh, don't put pinch twists in, okay? So, now as I said, I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to uh, kind of pull this apart just a little bit. Hopefully I will. Um, maybe I can't, hold on. Okay. Pull that one off. Yeah, there we go. And this one off. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is you I'll pull one more apart. Should have done this at the beginning. There we go. So I'm going to make this first square or box right here. And then things will shoot off on each side. Okay? Hopefully you can kind of see. What I mean there, I'll just kind of get that out of the way, get that one out of the way. So we're going to do this. Um, there, okay. So, uh, whatever size you, you make your, your first twist right here, then that's pretty much what you're always going to do. Now, if you want to use, put five inch rounds inside of here, then you can make this any size you want or as big as you're going to blow up your five inch round. If you're using a, a 350 like I've done, well you have to make it so it, the 350 is kind of tight. As you can see up here I got a little big across there so you can see through there so I don't think it looks as good so just be careful while you're doing this part. And I'll be careful while I'm doing it. Alright, back to where I am. I've got one right there. Another. There's three and four. Okay. Now, uh, this is once again how I do it. If you do it a different way, that's fine. Okay? Yeah, that's right. We're going to take, tie these around, tie another one on there. And the fourth one. And then we make a square. That's our square. Now I'm going to make a box. So I'll go up the exact same length this one is. We're going to do it here. And I do that four times. Once again, if you want to tie your, your balloons together right after you've done your pinch twist, that, that, that supports it. Good, you can do that. So, now I'm going to continue my box. Again. And one more. Now 
there is our basic box. This side could be better, but anyway. So I'm going to take whichever one I want right now. And I'll use this one for no reason at all. And I am going to put right up here. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So whichever one I said I'm using, I don't remember, so I'm going to grab this one. Now make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, It has to go across, so it should be a little longer than here. Once again, just look at it, think what you need, and use that. Okay? I'm going to pull that off. I don't know if I need this. I might or might not, so I'm going to save it just in case. When you're doing this yourself, you can... Uh, you know, uh, keep the balloons on or off, do whatever you think is best. Okay. Now I'm going to, once again, go across, and I want this to be the same size as over here. Okay. Wrap that around once and twice, and push it in the middle. Again, pull that off. I don't know if I need it, but I'm going to save it. Um, we'll just wrap that around once, twice, whatever holds it in place, okay? Now when I made this, I put two brand new ones here, and then I just continued off, but just to make it simpler, hopefully, I'll pull those off and we'll, we'll start, uh, let's see, which one did I pull off? I wanted to tie that up, but I didn't do it. Oh well, we'll hope that, that was the one. Pull that off. Hi. Good. Okay, so here we are. There. Or this, whichever way you want to hold it. And see, just like that. Now, our balloons will come off of here and there. Okay. Uh, I think hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Away you go. So we're going to blow up. Four more, the same length. One, two, three, and one more, four. Okay, like I said, they're all blowing up about that much. Okay. We've got our four, got to grab my square, and it's easy when you can just drop it down and then pick it up when you need it, but since we all want to see what I'm doing, okay, we're going to start on the whichever side, doesn't really matter. So I'm, I'm tying my balloon around the pinch twist, and okay, this side. One more. Okay. Okay. That is currently where we are. I'll bring this back so you can see again. These balloons here will loop around that way. Okay. Can you, hopefully you can see that. Now what I do here is I use the same distance that I used for my box. And then these ones on, on the bottom, I use two fingers. Okay, hopefully you can understand that. So let's see. Here. Once again, we're here for, you know, we're going to do our, uh, you know, I'm using a, a well called a small hand span. And a pinch twist. And another one. And a pinch twist. So these ones, this will be the top. And the bottom ones, like I said, two fingers. And a pinch twist. And two fingers. And a pinch twist. Now we're going to do this a lot. The two fingers and a pinch twist. So I've got my four pinch twists. Now I'm going to tie it all together. With you know whatever size bubble you want to use. Um, like I said, this 
should be slightly, slightly longer than this, but not a lot. Otherwise, you end up with a, a space in your heart like I have. And then you can kind of see through it. If you want to see through, like, you know, all the way through your heart, well, then it doesn't matter. There. Okay, so I'm going to straighten this out. And you can see again, hopefully, where we're going. There. So, let's continue. We're going to do our hand span, like I said, this. Well, you'll get very good at doing a box weave when you've made this one, that's for sure. The big difference is, uh, you know, you do what I call the hand span, and then you do the two fingers. And then I, I do about a two finger pinch twist, too. I, I like to say it's a, a good size pinch twist. And if you're real good at making sure you're doing a real box weave, like, you know, the balloons keep going around and around, then by the time your, your uh, one balloon is, is all used up, the, all the other balloons will be all used up as well. So then you'll put four more on. And there we are. Keep going. So you can keep going the, the longer one at the top. The smaller one, the two fingers at the bottom. I know for some of you that you'll uh, you'll go ahead on this and that's definitely fine. I will show you just how many of these I've done at the moment, or I mean here, okay? So we have, uh, um, we'll say the, the small one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The big ones are the same. Right, all the way along. It's the small ones that I that I modify. Okay? So if you want to go ahead and do seven of these, you go right ahead. Okay? Uh, where was I? Okay. And if you feel like you really want to wrap these around and tie them really well around the pinch twist and all that, go right ahead, okay? There's no reason that you can't. What I mean by that is each time you wrap it around the pinch twist, you can wrap it around three times. You can bring it in underneath the pinch twist. Um, you know, I just find that this is pretty good the way it is. I'll admit, I don't make this very often though, okay? And just wrap around. As I said right there, if you want to bring it around, push it through, pull it through, whatever, okay? As you can see, I'm running out of blue. And depending on how you want, if you want to put more pinch twists in these or just pull them off, up to you. Uh, just for now, I'll pull them off, okay? Make our noise. And wrap that around, just obviously so it stays in. Do it again. Make sure I'm not undoing it. Third time. Fourth one. Uh, of course, before you would finish all of this, you would take your scissors and you would cut the ends off. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay, four more balloons. There. Another one. And of course, they go on to where our other balloons had been. Tying them as, as tightly as you can. Two more. One more. Okay. Now, back to 
to putting this together. I mean, well, I guess I have to put the tubes on there first. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four. Now what I need is seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, and here comes five. Once you get the basic um, pattern going of, you know, what we'll call a, a small hand span and then two fingers, this works fairly well. It's just the rep repetition, repetition, repetition that you're doing. Try not to smack yourself in the face like I just did. There, bring the head back. All right. So, there's five. And we're coming up to six. Now there's no reason you have to do seven uh, little bubbles. If, depending on even how small you make your little bubbles, you might need six, you might need five. If you make them bigger, you might need eight or nine. Okay? So it's just with my hand, seven bubbles seem to work real well. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll take a look in, in just a bit before I start going on to what I call the big bubbles and, and hopefully we'll, we'll line it up and, and make sure that we're doing it correctly. There we go. All right. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. One more will be seven. pretty good. Okay, I can see that that's straight. It's coming underneath the middle. This is the exact middle of our heart and, and we just keep going. Now on, on this balloon at, at, at this scale, so I say we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I won't say seven anymore because we've already done that. Then I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, that's what we'll do. So, we're going to continue to four. And, and right down here, I have the exact same tri or, uh, cube that I have right up here as well. They're, they're the same except for this one. I'll admit I kind of screwed up, made a mistake. I have two pinch twists. Okay. Don't do that. Only put one. So, one, two, three, four. So now all of your bubbles will be the same size. The nice thing about balloons is they don't have to be really specific sizes, okay? It's, I describe it more like we're, we're, we're making t-shirts. We're not making running shoes. Running shoes have to be perfect. T-shirts, if it fits, it's good enough. That's my theory anyway. Okay. So, once again, if we want, we could put more pinch twists here. I'm not going to. I mean, if I was doing it myself, I would... Use every balloon as much as possible, but I, I don't want to right now. And more noise. There. And where's that? Good. Okay. What do you think we'll do now? You're right. Four more balloons. 
One. Two. And just to make it easier, I'm attaching these right onto, uh, onto here as I'm doing these ones. Let's say normally I blow up all four of them, stick them on the floor, my desk, whatever. But then I'd be bobbing up and down. There, let's get two more. Oh, there we go, wrong end. Another one. So now I get to do three more squares or cubes, whatever you want to call it, okay? And <clears throat> Are you bored yet? Not yet? Okay, good, good, good. Hopefully you had a very good uh, year of balloon twisting, or whenever you're watching this, hopefully it's uh, going well for you. Okay, so, there we have two. Three. It'll be interesting to see how long this totally takes. I'll admit, um, sometimes I make stuff like this just to see if I can do it. And also, I'm putting it up on YouTube where you're watching it, so that if in years to come or months to come, I can't remember how I put this one together, because I will admit the one behind me is my third version. Okay? One version I made lopsided, the other version just wouldn't become a heart. It didn't matter what I did. It just... It was a mess. It looked like, uh, I don't know what it looked like. It looked like some other body part, we'll call it. But it was terrible. And in just a moment, I'm going to bring the two balloons up together. And you can see how they look together. There we are. We've got one, two, three, four. Okay. And there. Hopefully you can I'll bring them together again. Right there. I'll just have to remember on the next one to do it a little differently. But anyway. No, actually that'll work too. Okay, I'll show you again this way. You can see our heart. And up there. So this pinch twist right here would be one right here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Um what do I do? Okay, I'll I'll make the box again. So we're going to pinch twist. Pinch twist. Now admit this part does get a little confusing. So if you don't want to uh, do exactly what I'm doing now, just build another box like we had to start with and tie it onto the bottom. Okay, you'll put it right down. Now I am going to, I'll just leave it here. I, I know I'm going back and forth on this, so even here, I might just pull that all off and put on something totally new, okay? I'm going to blow up four more balloons. And we're going to do the other side of the heart. Okay. So, once again, all of them the exact same size. Two, three, One more. There. 
Now, these ones, all four of them, can be started right on here. Okay? But just to show you a different way that you can do it, if you've done this, and I assume you probably have, just take your other balloons and tie them into the pinch twists, and then just keep doing what I did, just all the way around. Okay? But if you want to try a different way, and you don't want to get this one in your way all the time while you're making it, you take your four balloons, and you will do your kind of box. Okay? We'll start with, these are our hand lengths right here. Put those down. We will grab what will be our two finger bubble. And we'll grab, where's our other balloon? Right there. Good. Another two finger bubble. Now will we connect our, our bubbles? This, you know, I, it might be a little confusing just at the very beginning, but I, I know you'll figure it out. So we're going to take our five, or our hand span, wrap that around, our hand span, wrap that around, there, okay, now make sure everything's going in the right direction, I'm going to uh, organize this so we have our bigger bubbles here, smaller ones on the bottom, we will grab this here, which is our half a heart, eventually we will take this and we will just tie it on to there, okay, eventually. But, if you wanted to do this independently on, sorry, on, on both sides, you could do just what I'm doing here on both sides, and then you'd build your, your box, okay, do you understand? I hope so. Okay. Put that down. So, here I am, I'm building my box, or my, my uh, you know, hand span, two fingers, okay? And as I said, a lot of this goes around, this weaving, okay? So, keep weaving. If you want, pause the video, fast forward, whatever. I'm uh, doing the whole thing. Some people like to see all of the entire balloon thing, not just beginning and end. So if you uh, want to see the whole thing, you're seeing it. Okay? Uh, I found that the box, thinking of it as a, as a, a square or a box, and coming off of the both, you know, right angles, that really made a difference on, on how to put the heart together. And for some reason, starting for me, starting at the top of the heart just made it easier. I'm not sure why, it just did. Uh, if you want to do the exact same thing in reverse, go ahead. Start with the bottom and then work your way to the top. Hopefully uh, you're able to see everything. Sometimes I, I drop off camera, I'll admit it. It is a little easier to, to twist and kind of sometimes look down, but I, I try to keep my arms in front of my face while I'm twisting for you. So, getting ready to make some noises with my balloons, that is pull them apart. I'm going to wrap those around a few more times. All right, here comes our noise. Boom. In case you're wondering how I do that, I just snap my fingers, but I have the balloon in there. So I take a little bubble, snap my finger, it pops. There, do it again. And one more time. There. Okay. So, now here we have one, two, three, four. We know we need seven in total. Let's blow up more balloons. Don't fall away. One. Two. So I guess if 
bag of balloons would get you two, maybe three hearts, okay? And it, but that in itself is, is fine. I don't, you know, I, when I make stuff like this, which I don't very often, I give it away. Or I kind of use it to show off my potential. Yeah, let's grab our fourth. As you're doing this, just, you know, occasionally kind of, you know, think of how's my spacing going. I can see this one's a little bit bigger, but it's not a big deal. I should just make sure I'm not getting them too big, okay? So, once again, more twisting. Lately, I've been uh, loading my, my videos on uh, HD high definition. Hopefully that uh, makes it easier for some people to watch. I watch everything, everything on my, I have an iPhone. Uh, if I can't watch it on my iPhone, I don't watch it. It's that simple. Okay? So I assume quite a few of you are just like me, everything on your phone. You know, if, if I have to watch it on my computer, it just doesn't get watched. So hopefully the iPhone or whatever phone you have, it, it shows it clearly enough. I hope so anyway. That's why I load it on HD, and it takes hours to load videos. So, if you want it in HD, I start loading it at night, and whatever time, eight, six hours later, it's loaded. But that's how it is with the speed on mine anyway. I'm going to count because I lost count. Hopefully you were counting. I wasn't. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? I need seven. So, one more. After this, that is. So for those of you that are watching this video right after it comes up, I want you to realize that it is January, okay? In January, I will expect that you will have contacted everybody you work for in late November and December. You want those people to hire you again for next year. Okay? Remember, if they hired you once, they'll probably hire you again. So, give them the opportunity. Either phone them or email them or if you communicate it through text messaging. Now, I'm not talking about birthday parties. I'm talking about the community event, the corporate event, whoever hired you for a, you know, multi-hour event. Contact them. See if they'll, if they want you again. Um, that's what I do. I give everybody that has hired me from the, we'll say, middle of November until the end of December, they have until January 31st to hire me for the current year that I'm in. Other than that, I start taking new bookings on February the 1st. I'll tell you more in a bit. I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Perfect. Okay? So, I'll show you where we are. We are right here. Okay? Hopefully you can... Oh, sorry, we're here. That's where we are. I have to line it up properly. Okay. See? Now we will do our... One, two, three, four. I'm not going to do a fifth one because I've kind of got that already on there. All right, so here we are. Now, I don't take bookings farther than a year in advance. I know some people do, but I don't. What I do is I guarantee the person that they can have me again. And, and so if you had me the first Sunday in December, of past year, you can have me the first Sunday of December the following year. Now that does get a little confusing with certain months and when the date starts and all of that, or the first of the month. 
Uh, but that's, I find, the only way that I'm consistent. I don't care if the first day of the month is the is, is December 1st. You know, if you had me the first Sunday of the month, you can have me the first Sunday of the month the following year. This past year, it was a little weird because it started on, a, I think it started on a Saturday. It was a, anyway, remember, first Sunday, first Sunday. Doesn't matter when the month starts. That's how I work it, and at least people understand my my logic behind that. And I, I don't let people book pop over other bookings. So if, if you say, "Oh, I want to have you," and I'll take that space, well, I'm sorry, someone else already has that space. Even if they offer me more money, which has happened, no. Don't sell yourself. Stay, keep, keep your customers. They'll definitely appreciate it. There. Okay, so we're right there. Now we're going to do, well, you know, four more balloons. Okay? Another one. That's it. I'll tie these two on just because then I don't have to bend down and pick them up. And I, you know, getting a bit of a mess happening with some of my balloons. But as I said, we would cut those off when when we were complete or as we we're doing it. But right now, we're not going to. Another twist. Good. Okay. I will tie this on, and then we will just do another quick count just to see how we're doing. Right there. So one, which I already got one, and then one, two, three more. I had to bend down and pick it up anyway. So while I'm standing or sitting here talking about balloon twisting and stuff, I've really got to give a thumbs down to YouTube Capture. The image, uh, oops, the image stabilizer is terrible. It makes your the walls wiggle behind you. I think I stabbed myself in the nose. Now, I, I don't know why it makes the walls wiggle like it does. So for other people that are posting on YouTube Capture, I personally try to disable the stabilizer option. But it doesn't seem to, I mean it helps a bit, but not much. I, I don't understand why the walls wiggle. To be honest, I didn't even know that happened. Mr. Boma from Mr. Bowman's Balloons sent me an email replying to one of my uh, earlier posts and says, the walls are wiggling. It looks like they were on drugs or something. Now I didn't. I yeah. It didn't. It didn't wiggle on on my video on my phone, but it did on when I uploaded it from YouTube Capture. So I'm gonna try and upload it in a different way, and we'll see if I have any luck. Okay. So one, two, three. Like I said, I hope when I say one, two. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. I need one more. Oh, that's right. Three from where I started again. Okay. Hopefully you're following better than I'm doing. What are we, about uh, half an hour into this one, maybe? Might be. Hold on. What I wanted was one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh yeah, I don't want my pinch twist in this one. Okay? Don't put your pinch twist in this very last one. We will tie those to right here. Okay, to to this part down there. I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, we'll try it. I'm going to visualize this real quickly. 
Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. We are right there. This will be tied on here, and this part will. Sorry, I'll try to push everything out of the way, and, and that way, hopefully, you can see where I'm going. Okay. We'll tie that on there, and these ones will go, we'll say, to the top. All right, right there. You understand? I hope so. Okay. So I tell you what, just to make it easier for everybody, I will take my big one, uh, this, and I will tie it on just loosely, in case I need to pull it apart, onto the pinch twist. There, pull that, wrap half time, push the pinch twist off to the side, we'll do the exact same here. We take our pinch twist, pull it to the front, just a three quarters of a wrap should hold it. Again, hopefully you can still see all of that. And flipping over, once again, our pinch, or the knot around the pinch twist. Okay, so there we are. Hopefully you can see the heart is coming along. All right, so now we get to figure out how are we gonna join this all together. So once again, we have one, two, three, four, and this is five. And on this one, we have one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. I want, is that right? No. So, yeah, sorry about the delay on this one. So I don't do this one uh, uh, very much. One, two. Good. Okay, so on four, I am going to untwist my pinch twist because I shouldn't have put it on. Okay, so we'll undo a pinch twist. Let that go. But this spin around is our length of bubble that we've been doing, and we will wrap that around the pinch twist from the other side. So we're, we're joining the bottom of our heart. I say, if you want to do this better, it sure wouldn't be difficult. Okay. So now I will, once again, do the exact same here. Untwist. Take my link and join that. Now I am going to leave all of my balloon parts kind of hanging out. That way I can hopefully do it properly. We'll see. Okay, now I will take a length of bubble, which will be the, the same length here will go to here. This is where it gets really confusing and I'll understand if people say, what are you doing? Okay. We're going to this one here and here, the same size. This will be the absolute bottom of our heart. Okay. And we tie this part that's going back up the heart. So back to whichever side we're joining to. And now I must have to, oh yeah, undo this. Join the heart again. Is that a mess? Okay. There. Now hopefully I didn't screw this up because I might have. It looks like I should have put... Say, when you're doing it yourself, you can screw it up and, and it's easy to fix. Okay. Oh, that's part of my problem, I think. I have too many balloons in there. Yeah. Let's unwrap this. There. And there. Oh, well, 
I don't know about that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stabilize this a little bit by putting a balloon across like underneath because I really don't have a, a, a box going here. Okay. Tell you what, if you don't like this video, just I'll give you your money back. Oh. That's right, you didn't pay, did you? Okay, so there we are. We're at that part here. And then, where are you? Um, okay. Well, I am going to unwrap this other bottom. Because obviously I made a huge mistake. I'm going to put the twist in there just so as I... I think I untwisted one side incorrectly. I think that's what I did. Now I'm going to continue making my box so the balloons don't flip-flop, flip-flop too much. Okay. Now that's looking a bit better. Right there. Okay. Hopefully you can figure all of that out. I can't edit this out because uh, I can't. So, we will. Yeah. I'm still looking at how I managed to, ah, that's right. Uh, take a look at what you're doing, that always helps. Okay. Sorry, from this side I could see I was missing a link. And now, from here I have to go down, just like... Just a minute, that, that wasn't nice, I'm done on me. Good, okay. Just like I need that one down there, I will put one down here. So we'll, let's say about that big. And a pinch twist. There. And remember those balloons I pulled off right at the beginning? I'm going to use one right now. There. We will, um... Actually, I'm going to stabilize it, sorry, just because it'll make it easier, so I take whichever balloon I want, and just keep using your box formation. There. I think I was doing real well until I came to the end on this one. Now, let's see, I need this one. Goes over. There. Okay. So, maybe I don't need one of those I pulled off at the beginning. So, hopefully, you followed along. Hopefully, you skipped over the really bad parts, which are quite a few, I am sure. Okay. We're going to go down and up. So, once again, twist. And up. Now there, I think that's looking real well. We're going to do the same on the other side. So I will take, well this one's in the middle and I want one to be in the middle. So I'll make these balloons about the same size. Give it a twist, then I will uh, stabilize it by putting it across. And let's, this one might go all the way across, it might not, but I'm going to use whichever, ah, let's use this one, it's got a little less, or more, a little more space I can, you know, twist, okay? There. Going around the pinch twist, and one more, oh, fit bigger, fit bigger, okay, right there. As I said, if if um, if you wanted to make two cube square things at the beginning, 
and then do all of this and just tie them on. That would probably be a lot better than the way you saw me do it. Okay, so do it better than me, like I always say. Um, let's start snapping some of these off here. Hopefully I, yeah, I think I can. And my guess is they're wrapped around pretty well. I, I think I put parts of uh, A and parts of B together. So we're going to do, oh, come on, off you come. There, another one. And I have um, this one as well. There. Yay. Okay. That is the heart. It took long enough, eh? Yeah, I'm not an expert on this, that's for sure. Um, now I'm looking for, oh yeah. I have a, a red 350 here. If you have a 360, go ahead. If you don't, well, then use rounds, okay? I will put the red balloon in the 350 and I'm going to blow it up while it's inside I, I find that's easier to do uh, a little while ago I showed ramming the whole thing in that took a lot of pressure so do it this way okay. just make sure it's staying inside and uh, I'm almost coming out there, so we push it back in. Oh, I have a soft one right there. I'd have to fix that one later. And oh. one more. There we go, tie it up. I think I filled right to the end. Okay. Now if you do have to squeeze that in a little bit, that's fine. Tie your nozzle to one of the pinch twists. Usually hides it well enough. Push it up there. Okay. And there. So, all of that done. Hopefully you could follow it. Hopefully I didn't get you too mixed up in the corner in the, the end here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Anyway, have a wonderful day and uh, don't be afraid to make it better and easier and quicker than I can. Alright, bye for now. Off.